If you're like me, you like building things that people want. And sure, the first four or five times that you build a landing page can be exciting, but then you start to realize the day or two you spend on that landing page could be better spent maybe building the product out or talking to users. So that's why I decided to finally bite the bullet, do a bunch of research and create a SaaS landing page boilerplate using Next.js that anyone can use, including myself for all my future projects. Now, I wanna be extremely clear with what this boilerplate is and isn't. This is not some landing page that is optimized to sell a bunch of people when they come onto your website and take them down some click funnels type sales page. This is for a SaaS company that is simply trying to educate their users in the most concise way possible what the startup does while trying to be as professional as humanly possible. And while I was researching other great SaaS landing pages, I found that there were three very important things to nail. Number one is that the design should be super minimal and be industry standard. So no random paddings or margins everywhere. It should feel clean and professional. Number two, it is structured in a way to tell the audience what your company does within like 30 seconds of being on the site. Someone should have a very clear idea of what you guys do and what it is that you are trying to provide or solve for them. And number three, I built this to be super easy to modify, add things on top of, and edit for your own startups and my future startups. So this is what it looks like. You have a very basic header that you can add or delete stuff from. You also have the headline as well as a description, and then of course a CTA button that you can make whatever you want. I have a template image here, but usually you'll have some sort of image here. Then as you scroll down, you'll see some features about the product, maybe some more benefits for signing up. And finally, a final CTA for the user to either get in touch, try your free trial, or to sign up for a demo. And obviously this is made for when you first launch your SaaS, you might not have pricing or anything done, but all of those are very easily addable as homepage elements. I just wanted to keep it as simple as possible as if you were just launching before, maybe you have the SaaS already done and you needed something on place to show customers to start getting some signups or lead generation. But yeah, there is a whole document I'm gonna talk about later that has all the things you should add on top of it, depending on what stage your SaaS is at. Now let's talk a bit about why this is designed the way it is. So I pretty much have on my mind map an entire explanation of why I chose to make what I made essentially. And you can see here in the front page, it just talks about some of the details of it. On the GitHub, you can see pretty much how to use it, the tech stack I used and the tech decisions, but in terms of design decisions, we can go over here where I took a bunch of notes on pretty much landing page design standards, and I had a bunch of great reference sites to go off of, as well as a bunch of useful landing page critiques from Y Combinator's YouTube channel themselves. And if you're someone that's interested in seeing the nitty gritty of all the different parts, like for example, why I chose a max width of 1280, these are all here as well. So feel free to explore these explanations as well. Additionally, it is mobile responsive, so this is how it's going to look on mobile, and I even created a Figma community file where if you guys want to edit it or you wanted to add something on top of it or create new pages from it and build a SaaS out of this template, you can simply go to this Figma, all the colors, all the styles, all the fonts are synced up between the Figma and the actual website itself so that you can pretty much just build on top of it as if you just got this handed to you. And that is why it makes a great starting point. Now the code itself is also extremely simple. I pretty much just built this off of Next.js and a UI component library called Shad CN, which should be very easy to switch out if you didn't want to use Shad CN. You can also see on the Shad CN website, you can choose a custom theme. I chose to go with the basic color themes, but if you wanted to, you could, for example, change it to the rose or the orange or the blue setup. And all you have to do to do that is just click it here, then click copy code and change this in your global.css. I documented all the instructions if you want to do any customizations or changes. In fact, I have a whole list of things that you should replace if you are using this boilerplate, as well as next steps on how you should add on to it and make it your own all in the GitHub readme so you don't have to worry about any of that. And yeah, if you are a tech founder, make sure you join our Discord and let us know where you're building. If you have any changes or any requests, add them in the issues or pull request in the GitHub repository itself. And I hope this helps you guys build. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.